Did you know that there's a brand new AI tool that can literally take over your browser and do things for you? Or maybe you didn't know that there's another AI tool that can literally create Chrome extensions for you. You just describe what you want to be able to do with a Chrome extension and boom, it goes off and actually builds it. Well, those two things are absolutely nothing because by the end of this video, you're gonna know about four new AI tools that are way better than ChatGPT because the capabilities that they have are way stronger. Okay, so tool number one that I want to show off is Manus AI's new playbook feature. Essentially what you do is come to manus.im slash playbook and they have a bunch of different playbooks here. What these are are different templates. So they have one for generating slides or for building websites or for generating videos. And if you scroll down, they have a bunch of other ones. For example, this YouTube influencer finder. And if we click on this right here, this is what's going to happen. You give it product information or URL and a target region and it goes through and actually finds a bunch of people that could be influencers for a specific product. So let's actually try this out. We're going to grab this URL right here. We're going to place this in here and we're going to put United States. Then we're going to click on start finding and this is going to go ahead and start doing this based on this template that we had provided it. Now, in addition to that, there are a bunch of other things that you could do with this. For example, sentiment analyzer or like I was telling you before, they actually have a Chrome extension builder. If you click on this right here, all you have to do is describe what the Chrome extension should do, show what the display method should be, and what the interface style should look like, and this will go ahead and actually start building this out. And again, if we come down here, they have a bunch of different use cases, a bunch of different benefits, and they have frequently asked questions for each and every single one of these playbooks. Now, while this is actually going through over here and doing this, we can see that this is on step one out of five. I did wanna come over to Manus to show you another feature that they just dropped. If we come over here and log in at Manus, we're going to notice that they now have scheduled tasks. You're going to see that under scheduled right here. So now what you could do is come in here and you can schedule out different tasks for Manus to go ahead and do. All you have to do is name it, you type in the prompt that you want to happen and the schedule that you want it to happen on. You could have it happen daily, weekly, monthly. You could choose what the start date's going to be. You could choose what time it's done. Then what's going to happen is this is automatically going to get prompted. For example, let's say that I wanted to get a summary of all AI news every day. I could actually do this by coming in here, writing out a good prompt for it, having this happen every single day. And if you come over here, we will actually then see all of our different tasks outlined right here. Now, if we come back over here, we could see that this is on step three out of five. So this is almost done. And in just a few seconds, I'll show you the results here. Okay, so now this is actually done and here is the result that we got. We could see that this went through and created this for us. So we have a product analysis, we have a product portfolio, we have brand characteristics, we have a bunch of different keywords that it went through and actually looked, and then we have a bunch of different things here. So this goes through and gives us a bunch of different brands and a bunch of different channels that we should actually be sponsoring if we were this brand. And this is pretty crazy because it goes through 11 different pages, gives us an implementation roadmap, gives us budget recommendations, and pretty much everything that a marketing director would have done had they been assigned with this same exact task. Now, the second AI tool and feature that I wanted to show off is going to be GenSpark's new personalized tools right here. This is incredible, and I don't know why more people aren't talking about this. So now if you come into this, you can add a bunch of different things and link GenSpark to these things. For example, Google Suite, Notion, or you could add a custom MCP server here by just giving the server name, the URL, a description, and the request header right here. In addition to that, if we scroll down, you will see that there are tons of other ones that you can connect to pretty much automatically. For example, X, Reddit, they have Deep Wiki, they have Hacker News, and if we come down here, you are going to see there are more than 631 MCP tools that were created from the community, and you could see that they access a bunch of different things. We have integrations here, we have tools here, storage, database, code, execution, sandbox. And if we keep scrolling here, there are tons of other things, which is really crazy because this just got released. And again, I don't know why more people aren't talking about this because you can now give GenSpark access to so many different things. In addition to that, 
This team right here pushes out new tools like crazy. You can very easily create slides here. You can create AI sheets here. You could have this download things for you. So you literally just put a link and then tell it what to download and it will go ahead and do that. Or if we come back to the homepage right here in the top right hand corner up here, you are going to see Gen Spark browser. This is a lightning fast, ad blocking, fully agentic autopilot mode with MCP store and a super agent that can pretty much do anything for you. And I would strongly suggest that you go ahead and check this out because again, this is going to supercharge your browser and it's going to be a brand new browser experience and what it's actually going to look like in the future. Now, before I get into those next two AI tools that you need to know about there, and they're only gonna get crazier and crazier, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date on the latest and greatest AI tools. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not gonna wanna miss them. Now, the next set of tools and features that I wanna call out are going to be Grok's latest updates right here because these are huge. In fact, this is way different than what other platforms will allow you to do. So what you'll notice now, when you come to grok.com, you're gonna have this sidebar over here. And there are really two things that are pretty new here. The first one is going to be tasks. All you have to do is come over here, click on add new, and you can now schedule out tasks with Grok. But what you are going to notice here is it also allows you to do deep research within one of these tasks. And I really like that because if we come over to ChatGPT, you cannot do that with ChatGPT tasks. You cannot do that with tasks on any other platform. In fact, Grok is the only way for you to currently do this. In addition to this, they also added in new workspaces right here. If you're not familiar with workspaces, this is very similar to a Gemini gem, to a Claude project, or a ChatGPT project. Essentially what you could do is you could add in conversations for context, you can add in attachments for context, and you can give it specific instructions that will only happen inside of this workspace. In addition to that, you can do deep research, you can do deeper research, you could have it think, and if we come over here, you can actually add in a bunch of different things. For example, you will easily be able to access a bunch of different things that you have uploaded into Grok right here. You could add things from Google Drive, from Microsoft OneDrive. You could draw a sketch in here if you wanted to, or you could also just add text content or just upload a file, be it a PDF, a CSV, or a photo. Now, the last tool that I have for you is going to be Retriever AI. Essentially what this is, is it's a Chrome extension that can take over your computer and complete a bunch of different tasks. For example, it can extract data from websites, you could build out complex workflows, you could have it automate repetitive tasks, and you don't have to know how to code in order to do this. Literally, all you do is download the Chrome extension, you'll be able to link it up right here, and you'll be able to do a bunch of different things with this. For example, you could have this take Take actions on your behalf. You can have it find the price of things, or if you do at right here, it literally shows you all the different things that it can do. It can act, it can crawl, it can create documents, it can create web pages, it can extract, it can create a graph, it could fill out PDFs, it could do messages on Slack. And if we come over here, you will see that you will be able to control all the different tabs that it can take action on. In fact, you can give it the ability to take action on several different tabs at one time. You could come down here to set up a DOM recording so you could have it do things with zero mistakes. You can schedule out different tasks that it can do. You could have it repeat the last task or if you come in here, you can hook it up to a bunch of different MCP tools if you wanted to do that. For example, let's check this out right here. I'm going to say this. Please go to bl101.com and extract the price of their latest 4th of July drop. Now, what this is going to go ahead and do is this is actually going to start taking actions on my behalf. Look at this. My hands are up here, yet my computer is doing things. If we look at this browser, we could see this just navigated to bl101.com and look, my hands are up here. I am not doing anything. This is taking all these actions on my behalf. 
Okay, and now if we come over here, we could see that this created a sheet and this went through and gave us all the different product names and all the different prices and then also the link that it was actually retrieved from, which is just going to be retriever.ai. I'm not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is gonna replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs, or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now, so if you wanna stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing having to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you like this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here where I test every deep research tool to see which one's the best. I think the answer is going to surprise you. I'll see you over there.